wants to go under the knife of a brain sergeant who walks into the operating room and says to that staff, okay staff, let's get her done. Check the whatchamacallit and see if the patient's stable. Then hand me the doohickey there on that table and let's get started. Not all jargon is bad. If you're talking or writing to peers who understand you, jargon can be a shortcut. One technical term can eliminate a sentence, a paragraph, or even a page of explanation. You need the jargon of your profession on occasion. Words such as turnkey contract or footage contract or day work contract may substitute for more than a sentence or two of explanation. Chemists, doctors, accountants, lawyers, teachers, gymnasts, plumbers, and triathletes all find vocational jargon useful for expressing complicated ideas to the colleagues. But the key to jargon, the key is in that last phrase to their colleagues. Jargon used with those outside the narrow field marks you either as an elitist wanting to exclude others or someone with a very limited vocabulary, unable to communicate beyond your narrow field of specialty. So why do speakers and writers lapse into jargon when a simple, clear statement would communicate their message just as well? Well, some people use jargon in a misguided attempt to impress. Others use it out of ignorance, unaware that people don't know what they mean. Still others use it to hedge or cover up for not having anything to say. In all cases, vagueness resulting from jargon inflates those outside the narrow field. In a recent writing workshop critiquing session, an intercepted email referred to the cost of monies for facilities capital. The boss asked for clarification on that email. Someone answered, interest on the real estate loan for the manufacturing plant. The boss's response, just say that next time. People from other departments of your organization, managers removed from the day-to-day -day workings of your division, and clients expect the same from you. Simple, clear words. If you don't say what you mean, don't be surprised or angry that you don't get what you want. Big secret. Few people own up to using jargon. It's all those other people over there that are using and clogging up the airways. Do you have an example of overblown words in your field when a simple word or phrase would do? Add it in the comments section below.